Uh, Air Marshal Sean Reynolds. I'm uh, the Air Officer for Northern Ireland, so I'm the RAF's Senior Representative in Northern Ireland. But today, I am a pilot with 13 Air Experience Flight here at uh, Aldergrove flying air cadets. Uh, most of the cadets today haven't flown before, so their first flight will just be getting them in, uh, in the, an air environment in a light aircraft, but in a military environment as well. So they're having to put on flight suits, they're having to put on a helmet and a parachute and get into an aircraft in the way that we do it in the military. Uh, and the other thing uh, we're doing then is we're, uh, for those who want it, we're doing some aerobatics with them because the weather's really nice today. Uh, so it's getting them into an air environment, uh, into a light aircraft, uh, into a military flying environment and the way we do it in the military, but also allowing them to experience stuff they would never experience before, which is flying upside down. And also for those who want it to handle the controls. So above a thousand feet, we give them a very small amount of flying instruction and then let them handle the controls. So the three cadets that I've flown with this morning, for instance, we climbed, we went up to five to six thousand feet. They flew me out there. I then showed some aerobatics. They felt, followed me through on what I was doing on the controls as we flew upside down, did a loop, barrel roll and still turn. And then uh, they flew me back, and I took control of them at a thousand feet as we were in the descent back into an international airport. So unsurprisingly, it's a bit of an alien environment when you're not used to it, particularly when you've got to put all of the equipment on. Uh, and it can be quite claustrophobic, so you can see them. some are quite nervous to begin with. There are a couple who've done it before, so you can see they, they know what to expect, so they, they well, come on, let's go and do it. Um, but some of them are quite nervous, uh, and you can see them gradually start to relax. And actually all three of them this morning, as soon as we lifted off and started to climb away, I looked across and you could just see this big smile, I go, wow, this is amazing. And then on the way back, when they climb out, it's kind of, you can kind of feel that sense of a bit more confidence, you know. Part of this actually is letting them explore uh, their boundaries, things they would never do before, and actually building a bit of self-confidence, overcoming some worries, some nervousness, some fear, uh, and kind of conquering it. And, and then when they do, wow, you know, and um, uh, I think they're probably already on Facebook and social media telling all their friends what they've done. So I was an air cadet. Uh, when I was a youngster. Uh, I'm 13, 14 years old as I joined. Um, I used to be a member of the Air Force Board until a year ago. Uh, as My previous role was the Air Member for Personnel and Deputy Commander Capability. And I remember on, a, on an Air Force Board meeting we had a show of hands as to how many people around this table had been an air cadet. And everybody in uniform put their hand up. So that was the senior leader, the very senior leadership of the Royal Air Force, including the Chief of the Air Staff. And even really interestingly is uh, our senior civil servant put his hand up and one of our non-exec directors put his hand up as well. So you could just see um, what the organisation can generate in terms of developing people you know, and, and finding the talent. But um, the real difference between being an air cadet uh, and being a cadet, an army cadet or, an a or a sea cadet is the air bit. And the air bit is going flying. Uh, and that's what uh, we're doing here, uh, and that's where the game changer is. So, you know, now that we've got the aircraft here at Aldergrove, uh, and we'll have them here on permanently um, in the new year, you know, we'll be doing this three or four times a week. So, you know, every cadet will fly at least once and hopefully twice a year, uh, which is, you know, to, to go flying in an hour, that'll be an hour's flying every year that they will get. And they'll go through a set syllabus. So, like today's an introduction, we'll do more flying instruction, some more aerobatics. And then they can go on to doing airborne navigation, and then there are scholarships available as well, all the way up to solo. So, you know, there's a whole structure in place for people who, who are passionate and want to learn to fly.